हेलो गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग फाइन थैंक यू फॉर शोइंग ऑल द लव एंड सपोर्ट टू द चैनल इन टुडेस लेक्चर वील बी डिस्कसिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस एज वेल एज रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन स्पेशली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस आर द लैंग्वेजेस विच एक्सेप्ट फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा and uh, there are some certain properties of regular expressions and regular languages they go hand in hand because for every la uh, regular language there is a regular expression and uh, vice versa also so uh, in all and uh, we have this particular concept of regular languages what is actually a regular language a regular language is a language that is accepted by finite automata we already know what is finite automata if you don't know kindly see my previous very first lecture i have explained the concept of finite automata now uh, regular languages are accepted by finite automata uh, there for every regular language there is a regular expression because from regular expression we can determine what kind of string uh it is accepting means uh, what kind of is accepted right so what kind of string acceptance means that every language is uh, determined by a set of strings and set of strings means those answers which are accepted and what kind of answer is getting accepted we need to know like for an example i have a, a language that is uh, having an input symbol only a right and i am having a set of answers the set of answers are null a a four a's six a's this is my regular set right a regular set is a set of answers so what is a regular expression for that now if i have to basically calculate the concept of regular expression the regular expression is uh, formed from certain set of answers we have null uh, see this is an infinite string so it means uh, it is uh, it is entirely we don't have the count of what are the answers that are going to be but uh, if i have to deduce answers this is zero length string this is two length string this is four length string this is six length string it means if i have to uh, term it in the form of regular language a regular language says that uh, it is a language containing even set of strings why because we have null length string zero length string we have two length strings we have four length strings we have six length strings so we have already determined this uh, by a regular uh, language we have got null two zeros four zeros and let's say six zeros and it goes infinite so as per the regular language is concerned this is language of even set of strings now comes the concept of regular expression so when if i have to term it in the form of regular expression it is quite obvious that we have got null so null means entire closure will be there we have two zeros then we have pattern of four zeros then six zeros so it means two zeros are common and if i put entire star over here entire star over here means if i put star value as 0 i will get null if i put star value as 1 it means one occurrence of double zero yes it is one occurrence if i put this star value as 2 it means two occurrences of uh, uh, zeros two zeros so two occurrences of two zeros then if i put star value as 3 clearly this is my regular expression and these this is uh, accepted by a regular language which is accepting even set of strings hopefully this is clear to all uh, then we move to uh, the properties of uh, our regular language as well as um, just discussing the properties 
of regular set and regular language see i have in the previous uh, part i have already said that every regular expression is identified by every regular expression is identified by your regular set right and it is also identified by a regular language if i am writing double zero whole star this is my regular expression so what will be its regular language regular language is language of even set of strings so if i am going to discuss the properties of regular expression or regular set or regular language they are one and the same thing so for regular language or regular expression i am discussing the properties so these are the properties of regular languages as well as regular set it means set union union means that if i have a regular expression r1 and r1 is determined by we have any single input symbol let's say small a is a input symbol that we have and re a regular expression one is identified as uh, we have a star so what do you mean by this so what do you entirely mean by this or i would rather write a uh, regular expression one as a a star what do you mean by this so it means i will have a regular set in the form of a right double a triple a this is my regular set and if i have a regular expression r2 r2 is given as a star a star means that uh i will be the i will be basically taking all the values of a is except null so if i do the union of r1 union r2 means that i am performing the union of r1 union r2 where r1 is a double a triple a so much union i will get null a double a triple a so much so it means i will include all the answers if if i do the union of both it means all answers are included so all answers included means we will also get null we will get a which was already there double a was already there triple a was already so much and the union of this is a star and a star is also identified by a regular language means it is a language that contains any number of a's so if this is a language this language is saying that all pairs of a's except null all pairs of a except null this was saying all number of a's or any number or i would rather write any number of a's and you have basically what you have done what you have done union so union of both means the combination of all the answers and we got a a star union a star eventually it leads up to a star that means any number of a's i hope this is clear so uh, this is one important part now Uh, we have the next particular property concatenation concatenation means that you can combine two particular uh, answers accordingly like say r1 is uh, you can take r1 as uh, a right and you can take r2 as double a right so if if you have to basically concatenate r1 union r2 so i would have the answers as a a a now this is also a regular language because it says only a is accepted because only one answer is there this is also a guys a regular language it says only double a is accepted if i union uh, if i basically perform the concat i'm talking about concatenation this is a concatenation operation means i will combine both the answer first answer was a second answer was double a it means r1 
R2 concatenation is also providing us the regular expression. And what is the regular language of this? Regular language says only triple A is accepted. It means the concatenation of two regular expression is also a regular a regular expression. Means concatenation of two regular expression is regular expression. Similarly, concatenation of two regular language is also a regular language. So this is another one. Fine. Uh, we have uh, the next particular. Uh, the thing is closure so i can clearly take an example of r if i am taking it as a i can clearly say that r star is actually means any number of if it means if r is a and if i put r star over here it means this is any number of is so again if i perform uh, your closure of r is also a regular expression means closure of r is r star r star is actually a regular expression guys right similarly uh, the closure of any language so this language is saying only a closure of a is a star that is also a regular language what is this regular language means any number of a's this is another part let's talk about the next particular part set i intersection so let's uh, talk about the intersection part uh, guys intersection part i'm taking two regular expressions r1 and r2 intersection means i will just combine the certain values like uh, I will just take the common out of uh, not combining. I'm actually taking the common values. So uh, R1 uh, regular set. Let's talk about uh, the regular set first. So I have two regular set. This is regular set one. Regular set means all set of answers. We have null. We have uh, uh, we have single A. We have two A's. We have three A's. So on. Right. And if I talk about regular set two. A regular set 2 uh, is also having certain answers with a double a four a's so on so you have fourth value as four a's and so on now if i talk about uh, the union of r set 1 uh, the intersection of r set 1 and r set 2 it means i have to basically find common so guys, if I talk about its regular expression, so its regular expression is any number of A's, A star. What is A star? Any A's, any number of A's. This is your regular set and this is your regular language. And what is this? This is obviously saying your uh, AA whole star means even number of A's. Now I'm basically going to do the intersection. Intersection means finding the common out of them. So what is the commonality that is between them? Null is there. Double A is there. Four A's are there. So so many things. It means the common features out of them is all even number of A's. So it means this is my a regular expression of this right this is my regular expression and what will be the regular language it means obviously even number of is this is my regular language it means the intersection of two regular language is also a regular language hopefully this is uh, this is also a very important part so it, it means the intersection of a star and a, a whole star answer is a a whole star this is how you basically take commonality now uh, last property that i will be discussing is the complement property complement property is like i'll just take a regular set example one and i will just write null a null double a triple a 
सॉरी फोर एस सिक्स एस सो वॉट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ दिस कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ दिस इज ऑल सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन आर एस वन सो द कॉम इट मीन्स इट विल हैव ऑल सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स विच आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन आर सेट वन मीन्स दैट I have not included the null is included after that single a should come but single a is not included this is your complement so single a is not there even you can see three a's are not there so three a's even you can see five a's are not there right guys what is this if I term it in the form of regular expression. If I term it in the form of regular expression, it is a a whole star. If I term this as in the form of regular expression, it is a a star. A star means minimum one a is there, and then any number of a's, but but it is containing odd number of a's. This is known as even a's, and this entirely is odd a's. It means even a's will never have odd a's. So obviously, the complement of even a is odd a's only. and uh, what would be if this is my regular expression what will be my regular language it means this is a language that is accepting odd number of a's that's it hopefully this part is clear to all so it means i'll just conclude uh, the uh, the operations that i'm including are union intersection concatenation closure and intersection so it means the union of two regular languages is also regular language the intersection of two regular uh, languages is also regular language concatenation of regular uh, two regular languages also regular language closure of two regular languages will also be a regular language and intersection of two regular languages is also regular same applies with the regular sets and same applies with regular expressions along with regular language so if you have any sort of doubt you can always ask in the comment section do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching till then